the War and Peace Report. As we turn right now to what happened on Sunday, more than a thousand people overflowed a ballroom at California State University, Long Beach, to honor and remember Noemi Gonzalez, the 23-year-old American student shot dead on Friday during the Paris attacks. Noemi was a senior at the school. She was studying for a semester at Straight College of Design in suburban Paris. On Friday, she was eating at a restaurant in Paris, fired upon by the gunmen. University President Jane Close Connolly said, quote, Noemi's senseless murder is our worst nightmare. Taking the life of an innocent is an assault on our hearts and our world. Noemi was an innocent of great promise, a light in our community. Noemi Gonzalez has been described as a proud first-generation Mexican-American. Her cousin Miriam Padilla joins us now from Los Angeles. Miriam, our condolences to you and to your family. Can you tell us who Noemi is, was? Yeah. Um, first, first, we'd like to, on behalf of my family, we'd like to say that we, we stand in solidarity with um, the, the family and friends of all the victims and um, the people of France. Um, Noemi, she was a very, she was a very outspoken person. She was very cheerful, very bubbly. Um, you know, we we grew up together, uh, my siblings and 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 her and her family. Um, she was very, she was a go-getter, you know, and she 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 wanted if she wanted something, she she would she would do it, um, and she was very excited to learn and to have opportunities that you know our our parents never had and. And can you tell us how you learned what happened to Noemi on Friday? Yeah, um, my my aunt um, Beatrice, which is Noemi's mom, she called uh, she called my older sister and my sister called us um, from Seattle or in Seattle, um, and so then we I flew down here, and my aunt found out because of her her boyfriend, my cousin's boyfriend, told her. Noemi has described herself as a proud first-generation Mexican-American. Her parents are from Mexico. Can you talk about um, your response or how she might have responded, knowing her well? You are her cousin. Um, to this latest news in state after state in the United States, governors saying they will not accept uh, Syrian refugees. I think the number we're at now is something like in 27 states. Right. Um, you know, we feel that attacks on unarmed civilians to publicize a, a political objective is a, is a huge crime against humanity. Um, but as human beings and as, as, as first-generation students and as, you know, children who come from immigrants uh, or parents who migrated from, from Mexico, uh, we understand that uh, you know some of the mo or the most victims that or the ISIS victims are Muslims and Arabs themselves, and and this is something that I think we, as much hurt and pain that we are going through, we have to analyze the entire situation as as human beings and and realize that it's much more than just um, the attack in Paris. And your why her heritage, why Noemi's heritage as a Mexican American, how that played out in her life and what she chose to do in her traveling to Paris. Why I'm sorry, why is Just, it important? For yes, why it was important to her. Do you see a connection between your own heritage, her own heritage, and her love of education and travel? Right. Well, it's like I like I said, my um, my aunt and uncle they they migrated from Mexico to to give to give my cousins um, a better opportunity to to educate themselves and to succeed and to do something and to give back to the to the communities and and, and um, you know one of one of her greatest goals was to go to school and to finish and to um, make her parents proud. And it's important that we talk about um, heritage because, you know, the the issue with, with the refugees that are coming to the U.S. is because of the violence. And it's the same issue in Mexico and all over Latin America. People are, people are leaving their homelands to, to come to the U.S. Um, in, the hopes, in the hopes of a better future. 
Can you talk about why we're speaking to you in Los Angeles now? Um, you're a student at Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington, correct? Right. Um, yeah, I like I said, I, I I live in Washington, but I came down here to be with my my family. My my sister he lives here. Uh, my aunt lives here, and um, just just for moral support to be together. It's it's very hard. It's very difficult to be far away when when you know this tragedy. Happen. It's 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 easier to cope with it um, as a family than individually. And it, do you have a message as we wrap up this conversation? Um, the Paris attacks were Friday. Your cousin was killed uh, uh, in the midst of those attacks. In both a message for President Obama and the other world leaders, um, the, uh, one of the first responses now is bombing Syria, and the next response has been to these governors in the United States to uh, crack down on migration? Well, um, you know, there have been many, many tragedies so far th these last few days in many, many parts of the world. And I think that it's really important to not um, compare oppressions or compare tragedies. Um, it's important as, you know, as, as individuals, as human beings, to come together and unite and to stop. You know, we were angry. We're angry that my cousin's dead, but we're also angry that there are hundreds of of children's and other families that are dying in Syria, in Iraq, and in other parts of the of the world, and we we thank everyone um, who who made my cousin smile. <laughs> Miriam, thanks so much for being with us. I know how horrid this must be, and again, our condolences to your whole family. Miriam Padilla is a student at Evergreen State College in Olympia, Washington, but we're speaking to her in Los Angeles, where she where she is gathered with her family um, around the death of her cousin, Noemi Gonzalez, uh, who was killed in the Paris attacks on Friday. We'll be back in a minute.